Welcome to another Gibbs Cam version 14 video. Today we're going to show you uh, two items here, part duplication and working with uh, work fixture offsets. As you can see here I have a part here. Let me just render this. And this is the part we want to duplicate. Now we want to have the vices in two different places on our machine and two different fixture offsets. We're going to call this one G54 and the second one G55 here. So in the past you used to duplicate uh, parts when you go to post process but that gave you the right code but it didn't render on the screen showing you both parts. But now you can. Let's go up to document and the multi-part uh, tab will be active now. You can choose your machine, whether it's a four axis vertical, three axis vertical, uh, makes no difference there. So in multi-part type, click on part duplication. And I'm going to do equally spaced, and I'm going to do two parts. And I want to offset it by 12 inches. Even though we're actually writing two different fixture offsets, it does not have to be 12 inches from the other one. This will just be a visual on your screen, but when we post it, you will see We'll get G54 and G55, and if you did course three parts, G56, or whatever coordinate system you want to use. So the traverse options, traversal options, off part location, or you can go with the part clearance. Uh, whatever you have in your master clearance plane, say 100 thou, it would go up to there. Now you can choose whether to complete each part first or go back and forth. Um, usually we just uh, let it go back and forth. Uh, to do each uh, part with the tool before it changes tools. We find that is faster. So by doing this, and I go to render now, you're going to see both vices here. And if we click on play, you can see I have two parts there. Now if I go to post this code, we'll just use a standard uh, Haas uh, post. And if I post the code, you will see I have G54 and G55. Even though it says 12 inches from the first one, you can actually put your vise anywhere you want because uh, you can set your offset in your machine. But as you can see here, we have G54 right here. And as it goes down, you can see the first cut right here on the X. And as you can see, when we do the second vise, it's that exact same value, but we're using fixture offset G55. So you can do it the other way as well, if you'd like, and uh, on the multi-part, say, complete each part first, and post, and you can see it's going to go through G54, G54 with uh, tool number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then it'll eventually go down to uh, G55 and do the cutters there. So two ways to do that. Now we'd like to show you uh, how to use work fixture offsets because they've changed where they are in Gibbs now in version 14. So here I have the second part we're go we are going to do. And this one has two fixture offsets because we have two different parts in here. Op1 and another Op2. So in my coordinate systems I named the first coordinate system first vice, second one I named it second vice. You can give it any name you want. But you'll notice there is uh, no more WFO here for work fixture offsets anymore. They have it in the um, uh, dialog box when you post the code. So as you can see, if I bring up any of these processes here, you choose, of course, your uh, coordinate system you want to use. In this case, the first vice there. And in this one here, you can see I'm choosing the second vice here. So if we go to render this, renders like it should. Now when we go to post the code, let's bring up our Haas post again. You'll notice there's a tab that says work fixture offsets here. And you can choose any fixture offset you want. If you want both of them, 
in G54, you can do that. Uh, of course, you'll be cutting the same part, uh, this part over here as well. If you choose the same, of course, you probably wouldn't do that. But if you want this to be G54, which is the first fixture offset, you leave it at 1. This one, you would put 2, leave that at 2 for G55. Now, if we process this and you look at the code, you will see you have G54 here for doing the first part. And let's scroll down a ways to the second part here. And you'll see you have G55 for the second part here. Now, if you decided you don't want to use those fixture offsets or they're already being used, you could say, okay, I want this one to be the third fixture offset, which is G54, 55, 56. So that would be 56. And let's put this at 57. Process that again. And you can see we have here G56. And if I scroll down close to the bottom, you'll see this is G57 here. And it also says this in the dialog box in the comments there as well, so you know. And I call this, of course, coordinate system uh, 4, second vice. So as you can see, this is how you can control your work fixture offsets very easily. Because in the past, when you went to coordinate offsets, if you had other coordinate offsets that you use for construction, say a base or to rotate or something else, uh, Gibbs would normally uh, go in the order that they were created. So 54, 55, 56. So you had to make sure in your work fixture offsets you chose the correct one before you post. Now it's much easier because you do it right in the post processors post processor, sorry, post processor dialog box and you can set it that way. So works great. Thanks for watching the video.